Hello guys, this is Anton from Randfontein. Today I'm here in Dallerijwil. I'm visiting uh, Bonsmara breeder. <coughs> Many people want to know how to start a profitable breed lot. Not a feed lot, a breed lot. This is how you do it. You come, you buy yourself some 25 or 30, whatever you can afford, young beavers. This is a full breed Ponsmara, this is not registered, it's commercial, but you buy yourself a full breed Ponsmara beaver, this is 25 in this little crawl, I'm buying them now. This uh, average weight on this crawl is about 250, 260, 280. Uh, you don't put a bull to them, you keep them another year. Without bringing a bull close to them, they must not see a bull at this stage. They will be ready for a bull in about three to five months. They will be ready for a bull, but you don't bring a bull close to them, and you uh, and you wait another year. So the average weight is about 350, 380, even 400. But 350, you can add a bull. And then you must look after it, especially in its first year, because if they're still growing, the actual heifer continue to grow till about 450, 420, 450, 500, it can still grow. But uh, especially in the first calf, you have to look after them, give them proper food, give them uh, proper feed, proper grass, don't let them suffer in the first year, so they can grow all the way to their to the full to full size. Now if you look at this calves, look the distance between the nose and the eyes. <coughs> That's the most important part. Look the one there behind the gate. You see the nose is short. Look the one here in front of the gate, this one. The nose is short. And when you buy female cattle, it's important to buy a female cattle. So you want to look for feminine characteristics. You want to look for something that uh, that the bull do not have. So you don't want big shoulders here, you don't want all the bull-like characteristics. You want female characteristics. They must look like a woman. They must be... Uh... And then the other thing you must look at is this, the actual size of the body and the length of the legs. If the, leng if the length of the legs are higher than the size of the body, then, uh, then you don't buy them. <coughs> so you select yourself a proper batch here that you are happy with. In the Bonsmara breed, they also like dark noses. You see that one there in the back got a dark nose, the black noses. But I don't think that's so important anymore. <coughs> Most of the pedigree guys also got pink and white noses now. So I don't think that's such an important characteristic anymore. Uh, but this is the type of thing you want to start with. If you, if you buy this and you breed with this, uh, I had a friend of mine asking me, well, why does the people not get good price on the auctions for their cattle? Why? What's the reason? And I want to tell you straight what's the reason. The reason is because you guys are breeding with Nguni and you're breeding with Buran and you're breeding with Afrikaner. Guys, this is what you must breed with. You must breed with a short nose Brahman, bon, Achbons Mara cattle. This thing, if it comes on an auction, if a packet like this comes on an auction, you get 40 rand a kilo for it. They, they, everybody will, will fight for this. Any feedlot will fight for this. This is what they want. So you, you buy, you pay a pedigree price the first time. This, this uh, farmer wants 43 rand a kilo for this cattle, including that. <clears throat> you pay that once. So if you pay that once, you get from this cow 10 to 12 babies in his lifetime. After 12 babies, this cow, this cow weighs 500 and you sell this cattle again and you get all your money back and you waste that same money back in a new calf. So this, after today, this cattle is going to give you income forever. It will never cost you money again. Every year you will get 10,000 rand from this little calf. You buy this calf once, Every year this calf is going to give you 10,000 rand. <clears throat> Guys, if you want to make money in your, 
in your farming this is i'm talking about on the land not on on a feedlot on the land you you start the crawl or something like this get away of this uh this regional in goonies they stunning the advantage of a goonie is they strong in the dry felt if there's no grass they can still survive Ponsmara can also survive. They got Ponsmaras in Namibia, they got Ponsmaras in the north, northern Cape. They all survive. survive. So Ponsmara is a very tough, tough breed. breed. <coughs> and it's very strong against sickness as well. It doesn't die easily of sicknesses. This is really, to my opinion, the best breed for South African use there is. But this is how you start, uh, this is how you start uh, farming hot. If you can have this lot, you put, uh, you wait a whole year, you put a bull, uh, you, that bull will make them all pregnant, and after one year you got 50. After another year you're gonna have uh, 100, and then you got a, got a lot. Uh, it's important that that bull that you put in here must not come to these daughters. So the second that you got uh, daughters that come out of this lot, you must change the bull. So a bull like that can really only work two years. So you cannot, on a third year, you want to get to his own daughters, and you must prevent that. So you must get a chomi that also got a nice bull, smarter bull. And after uh, two years, you'll change your bulls so with that guy, and you got fresh uh, bloodline coming into your cattle again. Very important. This is what you look for, guys. Then you will be profitable. Thank you so much. Thank you for the new subscribers on YouTube. Guys, if you do not subscribe on YouTube, please go to YouTube. There's a lot more videos there than on the other channels on TikTok and on all the other pages. Thanks so much.